So let's talk a little bit about using the square assets, the square animated strokes, the square um, duotone, transparent overlays or backgrounds or uh, any of the square assets. You might think, oh my gosh, it's really not very exciting. But if you wanted to get a little creative, you could uh, layer some of these assets and fairly simply add some nice style to your image or excuse me to your video. So this is just an example of something I, I, I just threw together and notice that I have the the uh, image in the background and there's a uh, pink red duotone semi-transparent overlay on top of that and then I've got some of these animated uh, squares, animated strokes coming in. Now they can be used for multiple things. I mean, look look at what I'm doing here. We've got uh, one of these, this one here, I'm using it as a text box. And then this one right here, I mean, using it to highlight this lady's face. So I'm, I'm using it to highlight or bring focus to something. Also notice that what is, else is coming in up here, I've added a layer of a square, another square uh, semi-transparent um, image, one of the yellow gold ones. Now I did have to go in and, and uh, uh, change the transparency on that in, in a video, or excuse me, in an image editor to make it to where it wasn't really covering up her face too, you know, so much. It wasn't getting so dark. So I, I did have to do that. Um, but I, I here look what, what I've got it kind of just fading in and then the stroke coming in around it see how that stroke is coming in around it so it basically adds some quick and easy animation to your video and then you add your text on here and it's pretty easy to do that with these square assets that are in the duotone toolkit um, another idea that you could you could do let's uh, let's kind of play with this a little bit I was thinking you could take the background right here and maybe instead of having it cover the the full uh, canvas the full square maybe bring this in a little bit let's get that going here and bring that in a little bit Maybe I would make this fade in as well. And so you could really play around with some of these square assets. Now you could also put these square assets on a rectangular video and maybe have it off to the side uh, like that for a text box have a text box off to the side uh, using one of these and to put your text in it and that way you've got your other focus uh, picture or, or whatever else you have going on on to the other side of that video so that's another idea on how to use the square element in your rectangular videos so you play with that a little bit it's really fun you could also use um, some of these squares just to create some decorative elements instead of using it to f as a means for a text box or to bring focus to something in the video what you might want to do is let's say we've got this here and I maybe want to bring that down and you just want to create a series of boxes coming in that maybe across the just kind of playing here so bear with me I'm just kind of playing you know and you bring in a couple of those across the across the bottom or you maybe make them different sizes and they just add some um, 
elements. So let's just let's just run this real quick. So you could add, you know, a whole series of those squares or square boxes in the corners. Uh, you can even make them smaller than that just to, and then animate them and have them come in staggered. And that gives you a little bit of um, additional um, animated element that's not a text box and, and not bringing focus, but it's, an, it's just an animated uh, an element that adds a little something to your, to your video. It's, you know, one way that you could do it. I'm gonna try this. So this will go like down here. You can, you know, you can have them over overlap or have them come in like that. Again, just let your imagination run wild and play with these a little bit. But they're very easy to use. They're very easy to move around. Very easy to resize. Even in the next version of Easy Video Lab, they're super easy to resize and move around. So. Lots of different ways that you can you can do you can do it. You can even use them as a, um, a frame around a square logo. So maybe you want a logo in your in the corner of your of your video, and you could use one of these duotone, um, uh, you know, animated strokes to frame an, a picture or a logo image or whatever else you want to do and of course you can do this in a rectangle that rectangular video as well as these square videos that you can create so just let your mind and you know let your creativity go crazy have a little bit of fun and you know these are just a couple things that you can do with the square assets in uh, easy video um, easy video lab with, you know with uh, with uh, the duotone toolkit collection that you know that that you got so hopefully you, this will give you just a couple of ideas maybe uh, spark something new and I'd love to see what you come up with for how to use some of these square assets in your own videos enjoy <laughs>